Hey guys, my name is SPN and welcome to our new and very common topic, Xbox 360 versus PS3. First of all, SPN, why are you wearing this hat of yours? Well, because I feel like it, everybody, because I feel like that I should wear hats more often when I'm making more videos. First of all, I'm going to start by saying that I'm not picking any sides here. Xbox 360 and PS3 has both advantages and disadvantages, and that's what I'm here to talk now about. Now, let's start with the Xbox 360 advantages. Advantage number one, standalone games. Well, what I mean by standalone games, every console has this. Standalone games is where... All consoles have that specific game or game genre category that has like only for that specific console. In this case, we're doing Halo. Halo! That was a very quick advantage. But as you all know, standalone games are for every and each console, like I said before. So don't worry about Xbox, PS3 has it as well, also Nintendo, every Nintendo game has it, and also all those other consoles that might be coming out in the future. Now it's time for advantage number two on the Xbox 360 side. Advantage number two would be party chat and private chat. Party chat and private chat include private chat when you're playing games and private chat if you're playing for whole group. This is very very useful since PS3 does not have this and Xbox does, so if you're trying to talk with someone privately, trying to say, oh, the enemy's right next to you or something, but you can't do that when you're dead in Search and Destroy Country in Call of Duty, or any other games that include online multiplayer. And now for the third advantage on the Xbox 360 side. Well, I reckon the third advantage for the Xbox 360 side is Foxtel. I don't know about you, but Foxtel seems really, really good to me. I mean, like, you, know, you can't watch Foxtel on PS3. You can't get subscription for 20 bucks, 20 bucks only. So right now in Australia, the AFL is on and you want to watch AFL, but you can't use it on PS3, can't you? But you can do it on Xbox 360 and watching the AFL is massively epic. Now let's head on to the disadvantages of the Xbox 360 side. Now it's up to disadvantage number one. Disadvantage number one is very, very common on the Xbox side and people really really know about this well the stuff that we're talking about is xbox live gold not silver where silver is free you have to pay for using multiplayer services yeah no um 12 bucks a year right now it's on promo sale seven bucks a year but yet you're already paying for your tpg optus telstra whatever you have but yet you still have to pay Another extra seven dollars or oh, seven dollars that seems a lot. No, it doesn't, but you still have to pay for it, and that is a disadvantage in my opinion. And you might probably think that as well. Disadvantage number two. I know it might not be that serious when you're trying to play, but it does annoy me at times. Well, when I'm playing multiplayer on a server or any game, well, this does annoy me. As you can see right here in the back is the battery case. Yes, the battery for wireless. While on the other hand, the PS3, you can just charge it and then boom! Boom, you can play. You can play wirelessly without having to use batteries. But when I don't have batteries, when I'm playing Xbox, damn, when I'm playing... Oh no! My batteries are dead! I have no more batteries! That really annoys me. That really does annoy me. Uh-uh, my opinion only. Don't get really angry. Disadvantage number three. Well, this goes out to the, all the people who have the white Xbox 360. I know most people probably have the new, improved version of the Xbox 360, but me, I got mine as a present. So, I didn't pay for mine. So, this really annoys me. You can't use Wi-Fi. I mean, like... Most of the consoles right now use Wi-Fi to play online, but on Xbox 360, the white version, well, unacceptable. Well, it's very unacceptable, you know what I mean? Because you have to use an Ethernet cable, and when your bedroom is like 600 miles apart, over exaggeration, 600 miles apart, well, you really can't have an Ethernet cable running 600 miles, can you? That's 
disadvantage for me. Now that we've finished the Xbox 360 side, here is the time that we go to the PS3 side. The one that I use more right now, and I just recently got into this year. Now let's go on to advantage number one on the PS3 side. Advantage number one is the complete opposite of this advantage number one on the Xbox 360 side. And that is having free online. That is the best part of having the PS3. Free online. You can go web surfing, you can go on PS3, play multiplayer, no problems at all. You don't have to go on, but there is a disadvantage to that and I'll explain that later, later, later on in this video. Advantage number two for me on the PS3 side would possibly be the high definition graphics. Most people would say, oh graphics, really isn't it about the gameplay? Well to me, graphics is quite important. I mean like you can play a game that has no good graphics, but you can still play it by having fun. But sometimes you also want to have a good feel to it, a good way for you to play. So like, you're playing a game with good graphics and it'll be absolutely amazing. And that is very very good. It's scientifically proven that Xbox 360 has lower graphics than a PS3 does. Now we're up to advantage number three. Advantage number three, speaking about graphics in advantage number two, has brought me to the conclusion of the Blu-ray player. Oh well, the Blu-ray player! Oh, no, don't say that. The Blu-ray player is amazing. Especially if you have a family that loves watching DVDs. If you have a 3D movie that is in Blu-ray, put that up to your 3D TV. It will instantly let you watch the movie in 3D. And when you're putting videos onto the PS3, then that's awesome too because it changes the view. So it goes from 480 and then it can also convert it to something even more better, making it more clearer on the PS3. So you try that. Go into, go into like your movies, USB it, whatever, hard drive, whatever. Make sure you watch a movie. It will instantly make it seem brighter and have more contrast. Now that we have finished advantages of the PS3 side, now it's time to do the disadvantages. We're going to start with disadvantage number one. Disadvantage number one is basically the connectivity. When I'm trying to play on the PS3 side, the connectivity with the Xbox is way, way better. I don't know why, I don't know why this is the reason, but Xbox 360, for me, doesn't have one single lag at all. Well, that's for me. But when I'm playing PS3, lag's gone everywhere, host migration, all of these stuff. While on Xbox 360, host migration hardly ever happens on my servers that I play on. And now it's disadvantage number two. Disadvantage number two on the PS3 side would probably be the chatting. The chatting, oh my god. You want to play a single player game, but you can't chat. Well, they have Skype on the PSP, but they can't have Skype on the PS3. They have rights to Skype on the PSP, but they can't have on the PS3. Please add a Skyping kind of like chat, or add some kind of chat that we can speak to each other while we're playing single player because multiplayer won't cut it sometimes it still does not give us the right advantage when playing the PS3 we really need to chat lots of people are already complaining about this I'm not complaining I'm just saying but I really hope there was a chat that we can use when we're playing games just the chat between us friends disadvantage 3 is the lack of apps they have on the PS3 Xbox 360 has way more apps than the PS3 does. And that does make me angry a bit. Not angry, but you know what I mean. It does make me more confused and everything. PS3 needs to have more apps. Some people might not care, but I really do. Because I love watching movies. I love watching music. Listen to music. Well, I love doing all of this stuff, but really the lack of apps doesn't let me do that on the PS3. And that really, really frustrates me at times. So guys, I want to thank you, all of you guys for watching this video that I just made right now. Please hit the like button, please subscribe to me if you already haven't. Well, this is not the end of the video, but I'm just saying this because like, maybe you guys might forget it. Uh -huh. So um, I'm just going to do an interview with my brother about PS3, Xbox 360. This is no way scripted, so I promise you legitimate answers from him so it'll be like live so here we are with the interview that we have with my brother right now so Ralph tell me what do you like better Xbox 360 or PS3 just give me one word 
I'm not really sure, but I'll just go for Xbox 360. Why do you like Xbox 360? Because there's no lag. There's no lag. Is that it? Yep. Okay, then tell me, when we first got the PS3, what, would, what did you think about the PS3? I didn't think about that much, but I really think that I should really learn about to control stuff and to, um, to, I oh, just, that's all. Fair enough. Now tell me, how about the Xbox 360? When we first got it as a present, what did you think about that? To get about more games and just play with it because it would be interesting. What is your favorite game in the whole Xbox 360 series? We didn't really get it, but I'll just, just say for Black Ops 2. Since we don't have Black Ops 2, what would you say is better? Because we have PS3, do you think PS3 is better because we have Black Ops 2? Or do you still think Xbox 360 is better? I just go for, um... Then I change my mind, I'll go for PS3 because you get to go multiplayer for free and doesn't matter about the lab, just play and be happy. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yes. Are you sure? You don't want to switch back to Xbox 360? No. Well, that's what you hear, folks. This is the interview between me and my brother. This is not scripted at all, so hopefully you guys do like our video. Please like, subscribe for more videos. And this is my opinion and not your opinion, so chill. See you guys later.